This video serves as a tutorial to use BlastRing Image Generator or BRIG, which is a bioinformatics tool to compare prokaryotic genomes and visualize such comparison. It is pretty intuitive, however, when I was using it, I wish there was a publicly available video tutorial, so I decided to make one. BRIG generates images like this that can be used for publication and will be useful for answering questions such as how different are these genomes? Is my gene or DNA region present in these specified genomes? To use BRIG, go to brig.sourceforge.net and click on Download BRIG. Once you've downloaded BRIG, extract it using any available software you may have, and you'll get a file and folder that looks like this. This version, BRIG.95, is from 2011 and is the latest version I can find. You can go into this folder and double click on this icon which will open the program. At this point it is important to note that Brig is written in Java 1.6 and researchers including me have ran into issues running Brig using later versions of Java. To circumvent this problem I download Java SE Runtime Environment, and you can do that from this website. I specifically download this Java SE Runtime Environment 6U45, and it works really well. You also need to have BLAST installed in your computer to run BRIG. To do this, go to this website and download and install the appropriate version. At this point, we can open the program and start our analysis. The program does not accept spaces in files and folders, so make sure to name your folders and files with this restriction in mind. Once all of your folders and files are space free, you can start specifying your sequences. First, we can start with the reference sequence. This is the sequence that all the other sequences will be compared to. You can do this by clicking on browse and finding it in your computer. So for me, this will be my reference sequence. Next, you have to specify the folder where your query sequence um, sequences are located. Query sequences are the sequences you want to compare to your reference sequence. You can do this again by clicking on Browse and finding it in your folder, in your computer. And this folder, Genomes, contain everything that um, I'm going to compare it to, so I'm just going to click on it. And then once my queries sequences folder is set, I can click on add to data pool, which should um, pop up all the um, query sequences in that folder. The last thing you have to do in this window is to set an output folder. For every analysis that you do, I re recommend using a new output folder. So output folder, go to program, and then this will be my output folder, practice output folder. Once you have done all these steps, you can click next to proceed. In this new window, 
add new rings depending on how many query sequences you have plus the reference sequence. I have one reference sequence and three query sequences, so I'll add four rings. One, two, three, four. I can click through all these rings and you can see down here the colors that they are assigned to. I'm not sure why ring 1 and ring 2 are assigned to the same color, but because of that I usually just remove one of them. Now that we have all the rings that we need, we can add data to each ring. To make sure the program is working properly, I usually set the first ring to the reference sequence. To do this, click on ring 1. This should change the leg legend text to ring 1. And in this space, you can name that sequence. I'll name mine XBSFFL. From your data pool, you can now select your reference sequence and click on data and it should pop up right here. You can change these settings depending on your needs, but for me at this point I'll just keep it at default. Now we can go to ring 2 and do same thing, name it, select the sequence from the data pool and add file and we'll keep doing that. until we've inputted all the sequence you want to compare it to our reference sequence. At this point, it is important to be aware of the minimum percent identity that will be used in your comparison. To do this, click on Preferences, and then Bring Options, then click on this Image Setting tab. The default minimum threshold is 50, which means that Brig will only include sequences in your query sequence that have at least 50% identity to your reference sequence. You can change this if you want to, but this percentage um, is very important in analyzing your results. For this tutorial, I'll just keep it at the default value. Now we are ready to proceed. Click Next. At this point, you can specify an image title if you want, and I'll call mine just practice. And then click Submit. This will run BLAST, which will start to compare your query sequence sequences to your reference sequence. This may take some time depending on the computational power of the device you're using. You can check the status by manually going into your output folder. My output folder is in here, practice output. And this wasn't here before, but um, the brig has generated this folder. And if we click on here, you can actually see each of the comparisons it's doing. So this is a comparison it's doing between XBSF and then the reference sequence. This is another sequence XBSI to XBI to XBF and then it will keep doing that until it has finished comparing all of the query sequences that you designated it to to your reference sequence. Once these ring merge files appear, you are likely to be done. We can check the program and see right here that it is done. You can then view the image it generated by going to your output folder. 
And this wasn't here before, but now it is. And voila, here is the visualization of, the, of a genome comparison. You can see the legend on the right with the sequence names and the identity percentages. If you're looking at the graph, it's hard to differentiate between the degrees of identity. However, what I find particularly useful in this image are the white gaps. For example, this. These gaps indicate that there are sequences in your reference genome, this one, that are not present in any of your query sequence. Or the sequence is present but is less than 50% identical to your reference sequence. You can now use this tool to answer your research questions. Thank you for watching and have fun using Brig.